everyone, this is Brian with SampleLibraryReview.com and today we're going to be checking out Liminal Vocal Textures Volume 1 from Crocus Soundware. Now this is a library for the full version of Contact 6.7.1 or higher, not intended for the Contact player. It's uh, 8 gigabytes of samples, concludes sample sets of both ensemble and solo vocal performances. It's got 22 core articulations, and as they say, dozens of presets, and we're going to check them out together here. The intro price for this library is $42, and the full price, the regular price, is going to be $70. So this is a very textural library. It's going to be one of those libraries that you really just need to hold down a key to really hear everything that's going to come into play. Um, it, they kind of evolve the longer you hold down the keys and, and whatnot. So the demo is very, very simple. It's just playing some chords and you'll, you'll hear how those evolutions occur over time. I just added a piano to kind of flesh it out here. Alright, so let's go in and check out the different articulations and snapshots that they said were included. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, this interface was very cryptic to me, okay? <laughs> so make sure you go and read the manual that they give you, because it will explain all of these little, basically hieroglyphics <laughs> and what they mean. And I'll also tell you as well. So as you can see, we have a grid here, and if we click each one, it'll load in that sample set, right? So these two and then play a chord. The harder I press the keys, the louder the notes will be played. You can also kind of fake a CCO1 dynamic fader here but it really is just the volume or a gain level. Um, we have ADSR over here. And also there are variations of each articulation. So as you can see, that says, ah, you heard what that sounds like. Hold down one note. And then we have variations of that as well. So this is as they call the ensemble. And then the, these two right next to it, if I click that, it'll be the solo. This will be the other solo. And then this is the ensemble, both of those together. So you can hear both of those sample sets combined when we load up the ensemble or just clicking them both together. Same thing. You can also click this, that triangle in the corner. It's very, very small. And it'll open up this panel here. Here you can reverse the sample, adjust the volume, ADSR, velocity curves, LFOs, stuff like that. Dynamic range with the minimum volume there. Uh, so I just reversed this one, right? So you can just maybe reverse both of these and then play it along with the unreversed ensemble, and it'll sound like this. Uh... 
So there are a lot of options with that grid there. And then these right here, the crescendo and decrescendo sound like this. So uh, again, remember we have some snapshots here. So kind of started with Dreaming Pad 2. Let's go through some of these. So a quick note, I had my tempo very, very low um, for that kind of demo track, just really ambient. Um, you could hear that the vocal phrases, that kind of syllable, was syncing to my tempo. So it did sound a little bit time stretched, but I had a very low tempo, like 58 or something. Uh, so at a more reasonable tempo, 124, it sounds a lot better like this. So also to note, these do sync to your doll's tempo.
All right, so for my final thoughts for this library, um, it, it's really, really good. I like it a lot. You heard at that end there, I was just kind of trying to make my own preset by combining the different layers. And, you know, you can go in and reverse the individual ones. But what I really like is I how, how dark those low octave vocals were. Um, and then using the exact same sounds that I had loaded up, just shifting to the higher octave and, you know, using more major chords and you can get something just absolutely beautiful. Um, these are vocals. You can tell that, you know, this is the human voice, but the atmospheres they create with these, um, sometimes it sounds like there are other instruments in there and stuff like that. I mean, this is just some really, really nicely done, um, sampling, you know, with great samples to start with and then great uh, opportunity for expansion. So again, um, just a couple things to point out. It does sync to your doll's tempo. Some of them are rhythmic. If you lower the tempo, you know, too much, it's going to have, you know, some time stretching artifacts, which is always a thing with the time machine things in contact. Um, but again, you know, this is a really niche kind of hidden gem type library as I see it. And I'm, I really enjoyed it, had a lot of fun with it. So while it may be kind of uh, initially thinking that this might be a one trick pony, um, just vocal textures, I mean, you can get a lot of, of really good stuff and also some scary stuff too, which you kind of hit some atonal notes and maybe use these risers or drops or something like that. So really great library.